I've always seen myself as an extremely strong and disciplined person. I really, Mm. really have. I feel that I can always take on more, take on more, take on more. And that's always been my attitude. But I've recently hit a point as well where I just felt completely, completely overwhelmed and burnt out. Where I literally Mm. couldn't, I was paralyzed by it. I found myself laying on the couch for an entire weekend, not wanting to touch anything, not wanting to speak to anyone, not wanting to do anything, just because of all the pressure pushing from each and every single angle. And so Mm. where is your limit? And when you've reached that limit, how do you get out of that? And how do you step back and say, this is too much. I need to take some time and recover from all of the the demand of life. And and I think one of the biggest key things here is to see the warning signs early because oh, yeah. if you if you compare it to a balloon, right? If you're inflating a balloon, the bigger the balloon gets, the more majestic and the cooler it looks, you know. The same as oh, you yeah. in your work. If you take on more stuff and you just help everyone out and you have too much stuff on your plate from the outside, you're going to look like MVP, you know, like uh, most valuable person in the organization. Yeah. But what does a balloon do at a certain stage of being too majestic? It yeah. blows out, it pops. Yeah. And it's very much the same in, uh, and we can start with the work environment because I think this is where a lot of us are experiencing this, especially uh, during the lockdown. To set the expectations and to maintain and manage those expectations from a very early stage of that relationship or of that particular task in your work, whatever the case is, to say that this is as much leeway that I have, as much energy as I have, as much time as I have in a given day. And this is how much I'm willing to sacrifice or dedicate to this. And that's all. Mm. That's it. You got to set those expectations. And I think that's a very, very key and crucial part to to the planning process. I think a big part to planning or the very next step to planning is compartmentalizing Mm. what goes on Mm. within your life. Yeah, that's super important, dude. I think what we need to understand, and I think this was something I read a while back i can't remember exactly where but it really doesn't matter how rich you are how good looking you are how sporty you are how whatever good things in life you have we all have a a set amount of time we all have 24 hours in a day no matter Mm -hmm. how poor or how rich that does not change so you need to make sure that that time works to your life, your happiness, your fulfillment in life and what you want to achieve in life, right? And I've realized many things that I do, I carry on my sleeve and I carry it around me. It's kind of just been the way that I've been put together and it's my DNA, my coding. So by compartmentalizing, I used to watch this series around SWAT teams and how they are able to shut off their personal life, their wife at home, their kids, everything, Mm -hmm. even their parents that might be suffering cancer or something, they can completely shut that off, go into a mission, perhaps kill people there, come back, shut the personal life switch back on and forget about the mission, like completely. Mm -hmm. And we need to teach ourselves, condition ourselves, and we talk about mindfulness a lot. And that's probably the key, is becoming more mindful about your life and Mm -hmm. being extremely intentional when you leave your desk, for example, after work, if it's at your home, at your office, when you go down and you greet your kids, you do it wholeheartedly in family mode. Mm-hmm. and you forget about work yeah if you've derived some great value from our show thus far please take a second to rate and review us on the platform that you're tuned in on this will really help us to grow the show and reach more and more people to spread the positivity and change more and more lives so it will literally just take you a second to rate and review us and who knows perhaps you could directly be responsible for changing someone's life today we look forward to seeing you guys in the next one until then cheers cheers